Hey everybody, um, you guys asked about seeing the process and the technique on how I do the Mardi Gras pull, uh, Mardi Gras swipe, is what I called it, Mardi Gras swipe. Um, I used Mardi Gras beads, which I, which we got at Mardi Gras, obviously. Um, I'm not going to talk too much through this, I'm kind of running out of batteries. I don't do videos ever, so I'm hoping that I can manage this on my own. And uh, just at least to give you an idea of how I did it, hopefully I can do um, duplicate it, sort of. And uh, anyways, I'll put more in the description below, but uh, I'll give this a whirl. One of the reasons I don't do videos is it's because it's nerve-wracking for me and it's too much anxiety. <laughs> Seriously. Plus a lot of times I will fiddle with a picture until I get everything right and it would take forever. So, okay, so what I did is I, this is a tiny, tinier canvas. I had done it on an 8x10 but I've run out of canvases. So this is a five by seven. So um, I'm using, I'll put the colors in the description. And I can't even tell what I did. I think I poured a little too much, but since I did that, I'm gonna fill in this corner. And I'll put, yeah, I'll put the colors in the description. So what I did here was I left a little space of white, just so you can get that pull through there and I'll show you what the consistency is as soon as I get to the last color because it's the lightest and you can see it better and I'm a messy painter too so just ignore that okay geez I don't know if you can see this because I don't have anybody on the other side of me I think you can see that hopefully if you can if you can't sorry Okay, so one other thing I wanted to do is give this a teeny little dash of white right here. Because you do need something to start it with. And then these beads are just a little bit smaller than the pea sized ones I used before. Because um, it's a smaller canvas. So I took, just barely touched the white, and then I lightly went down really really straight as straight as you can and you're not always going to catch all the sides but I think that's what kind of makes it cool you got to be super careful to get it straight don't wiggle And then I went right off the edge. And see, this one turned out different than the first one, but I totally like this. So, see if we can see what kind of cells we get. So we got some little white ones down at the bottom. Probably gonna get some white ones on the top. And then we got some green ones. I'll see if I can pull it up. And that was pretty much it. I don't want to make this video too long because I won't be able to upload it. And don't tilt it at all. Uh, God, I hope you can see this, you guys. And anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. So it's get the paints on there. Um, you could start in either direction. What I wouldn't do is go back and forth because then it's gonna make the stuff all messy. Um, get the tension right. Just have fun with it. And what I realized after trying to do this multiple times to get a decent video, this technique is just as hard to duplicate um, as all the rest of the techniques I've done. Nothing's ever going to turn out the same. So enjoy it. Um, and if you try to do one and you post it on the group, um, tag it and um, take it with Mardi Gras swipe 
and then maybe we can all have a look at it. So thanks a lot. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.